When Cam and Kai came to the hospital, they were both critically ill. We were very uh, concerned about whether they would survive the course of these poisonings. A battle against time and extreme toxicity. Cam Look and her son Kai Chen had mistaken the deadly white cap mushroom with an edible variety from her homeland, Malaysia. Rushed from Western Mass, they arrived at UMass Memorial Medical Center with the clock ticking. Her first symptoms was vomiting. She was vomiting profusely and at a um, very frequent timing too as the night when uh, the, all those symptoms became more dramatic. Kai had severe injury to his liver and Cam had severe injury to both her liver and her kidneys. Dr. Stephanie Carrero raced to prepare for Kai and Cam, arranging an antidote, Legalon, still experimental, and a plane ride away. So once we received the approval and proved our case that, that we needed this for these patients urgently, uh, it became a race against time to try to get the drug physically here uh, in time to actually make a difference in their care. So the drug was flown up from Philadelphia in the middle of the night and actually was relayed from Logan Airport by the state police to our door and was administered in record time. Kai's symptoms improved, but Cam's prognosis was still dire. The transplant team had been monitoring both patients closely. When it occurred that um, uh, Cam really was not going to recover, we um, decided to move forward and uh, accept, start accepting organs for her, and we were able to transplant her uh, in about uh, 24 hours after we decided it was uh, time to go. Cam underwent a successful transplant. Now on the road to recovery, Kai and Cam have been able to share their story of survival. We are very grateful for the doctors with their fast actions to be able to step in, get everything ready, and actually get me and my mom to the state we are in right now. For my providers, I would love to thank them very much for all the hard work they have done. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart, despite the all these problems with COVID and everything, that they are still willing to stand up and fight for us and take care of us.